talking camera mounts and why you yeah. need to invest in them. Yeah. For example, your two-year-old, not a good camera mount, right? Right. Right. <laughs> but it's important to have a good tripod and there's actually some really great fun things that are yeah. out there for tablets and cell phones and all kinds of things. We're going to talk. Hey, don't cover the camera, dude. <laughs> We're going to talk about them. Can mm -hmm. I have my camera back now? No, I see, see the wheel. All right, now the camera mount that I'm sure you're totally used to is, of course, the selfie stick. And you know, it's not that bad. It's not too unsteady. However, it's not perfectly steady. It's not a, a you know, a perfect um, steady cam or anything like that. And the other problem with a selfie stick is that you're using the camera that is facing you. And if you're using that for the majority of your video, that's a problem because actually the resolution on this camera right here is less than the one on the other side of the phone. So it's actually better if you use the one on the other side of the phone for the majority of the time. The other thing is, is that it's not perfectly steady. And um, this can actually really be off-putting for your audience. And so if you spend the entire time with the camera like this, it's, it's just not as comfortable for them and it can get a little bit too much Blair Witch Project. The other thing is that if you're walking around, your lighting can get messed up very easily. People uh, tend to like to poke their heads into your shot when you're, wearing a, when you're using a selfie stick. Um, so while it does work to make a shot interesting, I don't recommend using it for the entire video. It's important that you actually have different mounts besides the selfie stick. Now something that I do like is that the selfie stick actually came with a tripod mount. You want to get dressed? I'm going to stop and dress my two year old and then I'm going to show you some other tripods. Alright, so now I have it finally on a tripod and it's nicely mounted. And you can see it does make a big difference as far as just steadiness and being able really to focus on a subject. But let's talk about some of the other camera mounts that you can use. So if you can't afford a tripod right now, sometimes you just need to come up with a creative solution like this one. It totally works. All right, so behind me, I have a couple of different tripods. And basically I have my expensive tripod that I've had for years and then uh, my really super cheap tripod um, with a couple of different um, iPad mounts on them. Now, a couple of things that you just really need to be aware of and pay attention to um, is the weight of your tripod. Um, this one, really light. Don't knock it over, but it can be knocked over easily, this one. Not nearly as much. Notice that's the one that I have my iPad on. And the other thing that you need to pay attention to is like, these are a couple different mounts that I bought on Amazon, is how it locks in. Because this one, it doesn't actually lock in, it just kind of like clips it in. Not as great. And it has this weird thing back here um, where it, it, you can move it around easily, but it's also really hard to lock down and you put a little weight on it and not so good okay the other thing is that this doesn't have a fluid head tripod and a fluid head tripod does make a difference in production value because when you go to pan one is a lot smoother than the other and I'll show you an example so you can see what I'm talking about this tripod or i.e. the more expensive tripod has a fluid head, so it has that nice drag, and this one locks into place, so my, I know my iPad isn't going anywhere. And taking a little money and investing in things like a fluid head tripod and a really good locking head um, 
will help you when it comes to production because one you're not going to be messing with a head that's all over the place and isn't level and the other thing is is that it allows you to move and position your camera nicely so you can get the shot one thing that this tripod has that I think is really important is a level and a level is key in getting a good clean shot and you'd also be surprised how uneven your floors can be hmm. The other thing that I think is important is having a head that doesn't kind of move around on the ball joint like that other one is because then you can depend on this level and everything will stay straight. Now, are there other mounts that you can use besides a tripod and the things I've shown you? Of course there are. There are thousands of options out there, huh? Ha! Huh. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is you need just to make sure you have a good steady shot and from there you can come up with all kinds of interesting things.